Um, so, look, this session for us today is, uh, is, is about um, evidence, using evidence as a dialogue. Um, and uh, evidence can be an instrument of change. And it's not the only instrument of change. And I think it's uh, fair, to, fair to say that sometimes we can present the best evidence in the world for why something should change. And there are a whole lot of other factors that come into play um, about um, why that change doesn't actually occur. Uh, but, uh, but today we're going we're to look at um, evidence for change. Now, let's see if I can... Yep, there we go, good. So, as the Chair, I'm going to be really quick and give you a little bit of a background uh, about Superu and our role, and uh, Claire Ward has done that this morning, so some of you uh, probably have got a better feel for that from her uh, than, than you will from me. But uh, certainly, Superu's role is about uh, changing, improving the lives of New Zealand children, families and communities. We don't do that directly. We don't deliver services, but what we do do is that we focus on evidence and how we might um, get that evidence used to actually bring about change. We see three key areas around evidence that are important for us. Um, one is around underpinning good policy development, making sure that the, the policy that, that is being developed today is relevant for today. Um, we also focus on practice, so understanding um, what good practice is, understanding the effectiveness of service delivery when things might be adapted, when they might need to remain fidelity with the, with the core of what's being rolled out, the strength of the evidence about how effective some of that practice is. And thirdly, it's about funding, um, and particularly the funding that goes into um, service delivery uh, that, that is rolled out for um, New Zealand families um, and children. So those are the, the areas for us. So we see ourselves as um, kind of indirectly uh, bringing about change and helping to improve the lives of New Zealanders. Now we, uh, we use the um, knowledge to action cycle and uh, the whole way that, that Superu is actually structured, uh, the way it's set up, is to um, be able to address all aspects of, of a knowledge um, cycle. And as you all know, mostly what happens is that we focus very much on generating the evidence. And me, like you, have seen multiple really great pieces of work that have been done that uh, don't, don't see the light of day or someone finds it five or ten years later and says, this is fantastic, why didn't we do something with that and why has it not uh, influenced um, some, some of what's actually happened? And so if you look at the whole um, knowledge to action cycle, then, you know, being able to translate sometimes that evidence into a form um, that's easily digested being able to get it into the right places and around the right tables, being able to engage with the policy makers um, or, or the funders is, is actually quite critical in getting the evidence used. And, and it's there then that the implementation, or in my view, it's more about the change um, can actually begin to happen. But you've also got to, you know, back at the beginning of that whole cycle as well, is understanding what should we be focusing on. Richie again talked about the limited funding that's available. Um, so getting that question right, getting that issue right up the front is really important as well. And, and we spend quite a bit of time around that also. So we see ourselves very much as a broker um, to help to sit across uh, from the science area through to um, the, the policy and practice um, areas and, uh, and, and that's kind of how we see our role. Another key aspect of our role is to work across the social sector so, uh, and that's really important. So we don't t necessarily take on things that might be just for education or just for service delivery. We're really interested in that integrated approach of putting the family, the child um, at the centre and then thinking about um, what, what policy, what funding, what services are necessary to create change um, from that perspective. So, enough about uh, Superu. So I'm going to get um, started. So the four presentations that we've got for you today are looking at um, where on the cycle evidence 
is coming in and perhaps talking about um, some of the challenges that we've had around that. So we're going to kick off with um, Jeremy, who is going to talk about a review that we did looking at the effectiveness of parenting programs um, for vulnerable children. That will be followed by Katie, who's going to talk to us about a piece of work we're just finishing now, which is taking a strength-based approach around family resilience and looking at why families do okay and uh, when, when, you know, maybe they shouldn't, looking at the risk factors. Um, thirdly, then, that'll be followed by a piece of work that Zoe has done around looking at one of our vulnerable groups in society, which is the children of prisoners and uh, the role of um, synthesis of evidence. And um, finally, uh, Kim is going to talk to you about the youth mental health um, evaluation uh, that, that super is conducting and uh, what we what we're doing around there and then that will be followed I think by some really insightful uh, comments um, by um, I was going to say uh, Richie by Stuart <laughs> thank you so I'm going to kick over now to uh, to you <laughs> 